With a sultry voice that captured her audience, Ella Fitzgerald was a force to be reckoned with. Dubbed the First Lady of Song, she was the most popular female jazz singer in America and lasted for more than a decade. Ella Fitzgerald's voice was ageless, smooth, and sweet from a humble beginning. Here are some facts you may not have known about Ella Fitzgerald. Born April 25, 1917, in Newport News, Virginia, Ella Fitzgerald had a troubled youth. After the death of her mother, she had to support her family, running numbers and being a lookout at a brothel. However, she had big dreams, and those dreams would lead her to amateur night at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. Most of us are familiar with the Apollo Theater in Harlem. A TV show was spawned from the famous theater where big names and entertainment performed. Ella Fitzgerald's career would start on the very stage at the Apollo. She would sometimes take the train into Harlem to watch acts at the Apollo Theater. Anyone who grew up during the 90s and earlier would remember Showtime at the Apollo. Many African Americans had their start at the Apollo, including a young Lauryn Hill. During the Apollo Amateur Night, Ella sang on stage, which would be the first time she performed in front of a large audience. However, she never intended to sing. Initially, the plan was to dance, but Ella Fitzgerald changed her mind after seeing a dancing act before her. Indeed, she wowed the audience with her voice, taking home first prize, setting her on track to become the songstress we know as Ella Fitzgerald. It takes courage and true grit to perform before an audience. Those who knew Ella Fitzgerald best said she was shy and reserved. Yet Fitzgerald came to life on stage. The spotlight was her home. Ella said once, Once up there, I felt the acceptance and love from my audience. I knew I wanted to sing before the people the rest of my life. She made the stage her home and she shined bright like the star she was. From a humble beginning to being a jazz star, Fitzgerald proved she was made for stardom. After her win at the Apollo, she met Chick Webb. She would then be a frequent performer at Savoy, a nightclub in Harlem. By 1938, she would release her first hit, A Tisket, A Tasket, which sold one million copies. Suddenly, Ella Fitzgerald was a rising star. In 1958, she became the first African American to win a Grammy Award winning Best Jazz Performance and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Fitzgerald's career spanned decades as a performer, winning multiple Grammy Awards and was honored in 1967 with the Lifetime Achievement Award. While Ella Fitzgerald found much success, she was also an African-American woman during a time when public places, including nightclubs, were segregated. That all changed when 1950s actress Marilyn Monroe called the Macombo nightclub using her status as an A-lister asking for Ella Fitzgerald to perform. Monroe would be there every night to see her perform. The press went wild. From there, Ella would never play in small clubs. Her career skyrocketed. A voice like no other, Ella Fitzgerald blessed the stage with large talents like herself, performing with Bing Crosby, Duke Ellington, and many other big names. She was a force in the music world. Ella Fitzgerald was an extraordinary visionary and songstress. During her career, she built a discography of over 200 albums. Fitzgerald earned her place at the table and became known as the First Lady of Song, or Lady Ella, a worthy title for a phenomenal woman and performer. By the time Ella Fitzgerald passed, she had accumulated 14 Grammys and sold over 40 million albums. Ella Fitzgerald was a true vision performing her final show in 1991 at Carnegie Hall. Ella Fitzgerald, the first lady of song, impacted the music world and amassed a large following in the face of adversity and racism. Simply put, Fitzgerald was a goat and proved that no matter where you come from, it's where you're going that matters. Just don't give up trying to do what you really want to do. Where there is love and inspiration, I don't think you can go wrong. Ella Fitzgerald. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Her Story.